Okay, we're, uh, let's see, it's a uh, February afternoon out at the ancient Kuiya shoreline, um, 2017, heading back to the truck, and the old shoreline is just kind of right at the right edge of the screen there, and here, this is kind of interesting, uh, here's a boulder, I want to show you this, this is kind of interesting. This is travertine coating that coated the rock and it's darn near eight inches thick. This piece broke off. Eight inches thick of travertine coating. Um, you know, I don't know how many times this lake filled. You know, there's been some experts that said eight times and boy, I believe him. This is this broke off this boulder here that was moved by a bulldozer over here. They were bulldozing right near the edge of the lake for some reason. I don't know. Um, so it chipped this travertine all off. Now there's, you know, I'm seeing like a layer there, some layers. So that would be like a fill, a fill, a fill, something like that. Um, why this is so thick, I don't know. But this sucker is like eight inches thick. So I'm not seeing any layers in it, but that's about the thickest piece of travertine I've ever seen out here. And how it survived, I don't know. It must have been under a boulder protected from the rain and then they flipped the boulder over and it broke off. That's the only thing I can think of. So it came off this guy. It came off this guy right here. Right here. It was just right on here. It was right on here. It was just, you know, it's just encrusted onto this rock. So this was underwater, fresh water. And uh, so there it is. <laughs> Just thought I'd share with you guys that it would indicate that the lake filled multiple times for sure. All right, I'm looking for a stone tool that was covered by travertine. That would be excellent because I would say that was probably over a thousand years old, but haven't found one yet. So I'll keep you posted. Over and out.